Giants have won the coin toss and have elected to receive the kick. Back for the kick is Ahmad Bradshaw. Here we the go. The NFC at Here we go. Let's do it. Yards per return. Here we go. Let's Classic do it. Here we go. Classic November weather on the day. Let's tee it up. Degrees. And this is our pass to Tumor on this play. We're just reaches up and grabs that ball out of the air. We're marching up the field. We're marching up the field. Steve Smith is in the arcade. Big Fan is an aptly named film. In fact, it might even be better if it was called Biggest Fan, because that's what a Staten Island man named Paul is. He's the New York football giant's biggest fan. Not only does he love the team every waking moment, but he lives to be on talk radio, to be a call-in voice in a New York City sports talk radio show. Let's go to my boy Paul in Staten Island. He always brings the leverage. What's on your mind, brother? Hey, sports talk, how you doing? Um, I'm just calling to say... I can't wait for this Sunday when we finally shut these Philly clowns up once and for all. I can't tell you how sick I am of Philadelphia Phil and all these cheesesteak bozos going on about Brian Westbrook this and how we can't stop their passing game? Are you joking? And this film shows what happens when this man runs into his idol, the New York Giant, that he loves most of all. He follows him around and ends up saying something he shouldn't say, and all hell breaks loose. And Paul has to decide what's most important in his life, himself or his allegiance to the Giants. Any help is help, Paul. Yeah, you know, I think maybe, you know, I think I got amnesia. Amnesia. Yeah, sounds like you have amnesia. This film was written and directed by Robert Siegel, who wrote The Wrestler, and it has a similar interest in the underside of sports, in the fringes of sports. It's an exceptionally good film, especially if you love sports, but even if you just love human nature. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Duran.